how she knew what on my way meant. Did she? Yeah, she said okay. Only my way? Only. Oh. Ow. Oh. Ooh, you almost hit <laughs> Only my way. You know what happened to me? Right. These one girls, you tried to, they tried to, uh, I went to the corner store, mm -hmm. and they threw a popsicle and a basketball at my head, and they were trying to jump me, and then there was like four of them, and there was like 20 boys, and then they took, they took this phone out of my back pocket and ran, but the guy inside the corner store ran after them and got it. Hmm. That sounds like the time when I was a kid. That's why I want you to go with me. Me? Yeah. What, down there? Yeah, because I want them to jump me. Have your mom go with you down there. I, I just... But not to the corner store to drop me off. To drop you off? Yeah. You'll be fine. Dad, they tried to jump me. They took my phone out of my back pocket and ran. You got like five phones, but like I was saying, I have that reminds phones. me of the time when I was like, I actually I was the same age as you, I was 12. And I got my bike stolen. I was in front of a store on the east side. And I set my bike in front of the door. And I went inside to go get some stuff. And I seen this kid looking around the corner outside. And I'm like, this kid's trying to steal my bike. So I was trying to hurry and buy my stuff. And then when I realized that he hopped on my bike and took off running. And I just ran out the door. And I was like behind him. And he got away. And I fell in the middle of the street. And I was like crying. And some guy in his car stopped. Some random car stopped and was like, did that kid just steal your bike? And I was like, yeah, he just stole my bike and I was crying and stuff. And he was like, wait right here, I'll be back. I waited right there for like five minutes and he came back with my bike. And then I went home and I told my mom about it. And I told her the whole story and, I, and my mom was like, well, where's the bike at right now? She's like, Out, and I was like, outside. And she's like, well, go get it for somebody steals it. And I went out there and it was gone. Somebody stole the bike. Wow. <laughs> like, a whole nother person stole the bike. Yeah, I hated that neighborhood. It sucks when you got to, like, watch your bike at all times. Not in Mimu's neighborhood. But you'll be okay. Did you, does somebody know you're coming home? Yeah, my mom does. Are they there? Is yeah. she there? She's home. Did you tell her about the girls that tried to yeah. jump? Yeah, she's gonna try to kill them, but they ran. Are they girls from uh, Starling? No, one of them went to school with me in uh, sixth grade at Westmore. She was the popular girl. Huh. And they were just being mean. Actually, the boy took the phone out my back pocket. Then they just stood there and laughed at me, and they ran. I I would have fought back, but there was twenty of them. Yeah, you can't. It's hard to fight 20 people. And then I just ran. And then there was like a 16-year-old who didn't even do anything. And you'd think she'd be mature. She'd think she'd be mature. And tell him to give me my phone back, but she didn't. And they all just ran. And then the guy inside the store told the other guy who was cashing out somebody. He said, somebody just took that girl's phone. And the guy ran out the store and went after her and got it. If you're lucky, you can probably beat up three or four people on a good day. One, uh, you know, just you by yourself. But 20, you got to be Superman. That was literally 20, Dad. You got to be Superman. I know. He said, why did she fight back? I said, because there was 20 people. Yeah, you can't do nothing with 20 people. Like 10 boys and 10 girls. Yeah. 